hey hello everyone welcome once again to my youtube channel in this reflex and in this video i'm going to be showing you how to do a very very simple manipulation which will also look realistic and also professional you know like this i actually brought in this led light the led light was not there i mean the daylight and these boxes were not were not there too as you all know this is one of my favorite boxes i love to use while manipulating so all we just did is just we just smoothing the background but in a simple overlay that is going to blend in with the background then we manipulate the gel lights to make it look real as if the gel light was there actually so with no further ado let's jump to that firstly if this is your first time visiting don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and also turn on the notification icon if you have any question you can contact me and i'll get back to you as soon as possible if you're interested in getting my overlays i have a lot of them i have packs of them you can actually go to my store link or you can message me on whatsapp for you to get them including the, PN, the png files the lot i use to upgrade your editing skill so let's jump into that so here's the picture we are going to be making you so as you can see i removed the model from the background let me show you that once i turn off the other layers as you can see i've perfectly removed the model from the background which took me about eight minutes or so to do that so for you to get the background manipulation right it comes firstly from how you remove the picture from the background if the background is not well removed you have an issue if you want to learn how to remove the background perfectly there's there are tons of video there just click in the list the clicking on the playlist in the description below and you get access to the full course when it comes to manipulation so remove the model from the background you've removed the booth clean the blemishes this is the background actually this is how small the background was before we are the one that did the extension and smoothing the background up a little bit so firstly we are going to be bringing in the only overlay we are going to be making you for the studio background just one overlay and somehow like a studio overlay too just want, want to make it a little bit artistic the overlay is not necessary we can actually just bring in our J light and go on with our stuff we want to do so let's go to where the file is located it's located here so this is the overlay i'll be making use of right now so i just have to drag it into my photoshop and drag it in so i will make sure it laps note one thing why do manipulation you have to make sure as in it's standing very well look at it now look at where the leg is so that means i have to make sure this has to be where her leg is so i have to drag until i see that is perfectly fixed so you have, you have to keep dragging until you get what you actually need so let me zoom out and keep dragging it so i think i would like it about this way so once i see that it's already lapped the way i want it to be i'll just change the blend mode from normal i'll change it to soft light then i'll click on my ok but it came with its own saturation so i'll just bring down saturation a little bit by clicking on ctrl u and i'll bring the saturation down i'll bring it down and also it's looking somehow rough so we are going to blow it out a little bit so that it's going to smoothen the background for us so for that we go to our filter under filter we we'll go to blow under blow we we'll go to gaussian blow click on our gaussian blow so we're going to increase it until we have a smooth background as you can see right now so i'm using 20 right now so i just have to click on my ok so we're done with bringing in our overlay as simple as that you can see that's the same overlay i used i used here so i'll go back here again so the next thing I'll just do now is bring in my gel lights and start the manipulation. So I'll go to my file manager again, click on it. So this is the gel light I'll be making use of. Actually got it and the file is also in the store if you want to download, if you want to buy there. There are tons of overlays like this, tons of PNGs like this that I have when it comes to background manipulation and with it will make your background manipulation very very real while you are doing your manipulation. So I just have to click on it, drag it there. Then I'll adjust the size so that it's going to look, you know, somehow real. I'm going to adjust the size, make sure it laps perfectly. So zoom in to see what you are doing. Zoom in, then adjust it to wherever I want it to be. So okay, I love it this way. But the issue we're having now, it's looking obvious that it's an overlay the stand is not too dark enough so we are going to darken that by ourselves right now so how are we going to do that we just have to create an empty layer over here i'll create it then i'll pick on my brush my normal brush 
then I'll change the color to black so I'll screw over where the stand is don't mind it if it's screwed if the sketches are rough make sure your brush opacity is at 100% before you start that so I'll screw over it I don't mind if it's rough or anything we are going to amend that later on as you can see so I just want to make sure the I darken the stand a little bit so let me say I this is how I want it to be right now so I just have to right click on it then I'll clip it on the layer below as you can see right now it's clipped there perfectly it's not showing us it's not showing the rough edges again so if the dark is too much I just have to bring that the opacity a little bit bring it down 85 is okay then I'll click on my okay so far so good we've brought in our gel lights which is standing very well but the issue is that the shadow is not there so let's create the shadow before we start creating the gel on top so how to create the shadow again we are going to be doing it below the gel light we brought in this is the gel light layer right there so we are going to be creating the shadow below it so I'm going to click below it and I'll create an empty layer again my brush is still on black then I'll just drag over the area this way I want my shadow to be drag here let me drag this way let me drag like this so all, this, all I just need to do now is just to blow them out. I'll just go to filter, under filter, I'll click on blow. Then I'll click on Gaussian blow. Then I'll zoom in until I'm no longer seeing them. It's too much. I'll bring it down. Bring it down. Then I'll click on my OK. But it's too much right now. It's looking obvious. So I'll use my clipping marks, my layer marks to do that. I'll just click on layer marks. I'll pick on my brush. Make sure it's on black. Then I'll pass it already to 50. I want to be cleaning it off little by little now, so I'll clean it up. Ctrl Z. I'll be cleaning the edges off a little bit. Clean it up a little bit. Clean it up. Clean it up. Clean it up. So we just have to bring down the opacity now. Bring it down. Bring it down. Then I'll go back to blur again. Filter, blow, then Gaussian blow. So I want to blow it a little bit more again, so it's going to look realistic. So until I get what I need right, which is quite okay right now. So actually apply a little bit of shadow at the down. So the next thing we need to do now is to create the gel color we want it to be on the background and on our model space. So for we to do that, we have to click above the gel light we created we brought in. Then create an empty new layer. Create an empty new layer. Then we'll pick on the color we want. Okay, let me say I want this yellow. I'll make sure my brush passes at 50 percent make sure that 50 percent then i increase my brush size i increase it very well I increase it okay this way is okay and i'll just click on it once as you can see it's created our gel light perfectly you can leave it this way or you can just reduce the opacity bring the opacity down a little bit as you can see right now but it's only reflecting on the background it's not reflecting on, on our model space and for it to look realistic it has to reflect on our face even though it's just a little bit so we are going to make amendments to that so for you to do that i'll click on the model layer click on it then i'll create an empty new layer on, on it again so i'll reduce my brow size the opacity this time around i'll make it be on 30 then i'll scroll over the edges that i know the light might reflect on so like this area now it's too much i reduce the brush I'll zoom in so I'll just scroll over this area so here's the area I want the gel light to be this way don't mind if it's uh, don't mind the rough edges at the at the edge over here we are going to make amendment to that just like we did the background stand so just have to scroll over it scroll over it so like to look real as if the gel light was actually reflecting on it I'll just scroll over it as you can see right now I'll go to the stand also I'll do same thing there so just to make it look very real so as you can see right now it's not looking all that real because of the edge so i just have to right click on it then i'll create a clipping max as you can see it's look as if it's reflecting if it's too much i'll just bring the opacity down or i can just leave the opacity this way and i'll change the blend mode from normal I'll change it to color as you can see it's really reflecting a little so i can just duplicate it so i can see it very well you can see right now so it's already there the gel light is showing 
so we're done with that in our object which we want to place into our photoshop which is the boxes let me bring, bring in the first one this is the first box i love using let's have to drag it into photoshop unlike the other box this came with its own shadow so i have to place it very well i'll place it until i see it's okay okay so i just have to bring it it's a little bit too bright so i have to bring it down a little bit by clicking on ctrl m then i'll reduce the brightness and i'll click on my ok so after that you have to bring i can leave it this way which is quite perfect right now but i can just go back there again go back to my fire manager and bring in maybe another thing probably the table or this other box i just have to drag into photoshop i'll drag into photoshop then i'll bring it down I'll bring it down bring it down i will reduce the size but unlike this first one this other one is not having a shadow if you want to learn how i create shadows uh for objects kindly watch my next video on how to do that i won't be doing that in this video i'm only going to be placing this here right now and the next video i'll be showing you how to create a shadow a realistic shadow for objects how to create an, a shadow for objects so let's say we're done bringing in our files now, everything we need to bring in. So the next thing is color grading. As you all know, I only love using one color for all my manipulation because I love dark skin image. I love creating a low light image. So I'll just pick in my chocolate color. If you want to get the pack of lot I use also for all my manipulations and also my picture color grading, and they are also available in my store. Either I get them from my store, you message me on WhatsApp and I'll get them to you as soon as possible about the price. So I'll just go back to my adjustment layer, click on it, click on color lookup, then I'll pick my chocolate color, click on it. Automatically, as you can see, we've got in our dark skin image perfectly alright. So we're done with that. The next thing is just for we to add a little bit of vintage to the edge, to add a little bit of vintage to this edge over here. So for we to do that, let's click create a copy of everything we did so far by clicking on Ctrl, Shift, Alt and E ctrl shift alt and e as you can see we create, we create a image copy of everything so we want to add a vintage to this edge right now so you have to go to our filter under filter we'll click on camera row wait for it to load up then we'll go to the settings then we'll pick on our vintage we'll pick on heavy as you can see once we click ok it adds a little bit of vintage for us so that's all for this video guys, thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe to my youtube channel and also turn on the notification icon, if you have any questions you can contact me and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. See you guys on my next tutorial, one love guys.